you are welcome to today's class. In today's class, we will be looking at matrix inversion. How do we solve two by two question on matrix inversion and three by three matrix? How do we solve two by two matrix and three by three matrix? Matrix inversion, we have two by two matrix, we have three by three, so we'll be taking a look at the two by two and three by three matrix. How do we solve question on two by two? How do we solve question on three by three? But before you go into the inverse, we would like to solve ordinary determinant for before we now go to inverse. Example one. Ag1 says that find the determinant when Find the determinant when A equals to this 2, 1, 3, 4. Now, how do we solve for the determinant? We say solution A equals to well, Now, we now say the determinant of A equals to 4 times 2 minus 1 times 3, there is an invisible minus sign at the middle here. Then 4 times 2, 8 minus 1 times 3, 3, which equals to 8 minus 3, will give us 5. 8 minus 3 will give us 5. Then we go to example 2. In example 2, we have find the determinant when A. Find the determinant when A equals to, we have 2, 1, 2, 1. Now, what is the determinant? When I say A equals to 1 times 2 minus 2 times 1, the minus is the invisible minus sign here, which equals to 1 times 2, 2 minus 2 times 1, 2. Which our final answer is what? Zero. The final answer here is zero, which shows that we have the what? Vanish determinant. It is called vanish determinant. This is called vanish determinant. So this is called vanish determinant. We can now solve further. So that means we cannot solve further. Because if you say you still want to solve further, for instance, when you are having something like maybe x to look for x, to look for y and z, you cannot solve further. But situation where you can solve further is when you are to solve for 2a. You can now say k2 multiply by the zero you got will still give you zero. Or you have 2a plus 2b in equation like that. In questions like that, we move to example 3. Example 3, say so I find the determinant of 2a plus 3b.
Find the determinant of 2a plus 3b in the given matrix. In the given matrix A equals to and B equals to four, six, six, nine. Now we solve. Solution A, the determinant of A equals to, we say A equals to 6, 7, 4, 9. So, which equals to 9 times 6, this 9 times 6 here, minus 4 times 7, which equals to 9 times 6. 54 minus 4 times 7, 28, which equals to 54 minus 28, we give you 26. This gives 26. So we can now move further to look for B. The determinant of B equals to, in B we have 4, 6, 6, 9. 4, 6, 6, 9. Which equals to bracket open nine times four bracket close the minus sign by over six times what is it, six bracket close which equals to nine times four thirty six minus six times six thirty six which equals to thirty six minus thirty six zero so we move further. In example theory now, still on example theory, the question says that find the determinant of 2a plus 3b in the given matrix a equals to this and b equals to this. Now, find the determinant of what? 2a plus 3b. Now, our a equals to what? 26. Where our b equals to? 0, then we cannot say that 2a, that will now be 2 in bracket 26 plus 3 in bracket 0, which equals to 2 times 26, 52, plus 3 times 0, 0, which equals to 52 plus 0, we give us what? 52 as our final answer. All what we have solved are on 2 by 2 matrix. Now let us solve a question on 3 by 3 matrix before moving to inverse. Now, we have question on 3 by 3 matrix, also known as third order determinants. Under this third order determinant, let us look at this question. The determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix A equals to this. Now, let us say, okay, find the determinant of the given matrix below. Find EG4. Find the determinant of the given matrix below A
Find the determinant of the given matrix below. How do we solve the determinant for this? We now say solution. The determinant of A equals to. Now, this is theory. You pick this theory, remember, here yeah, is positive, negative, positive. When you pick this theory, you now say theory. You can show what are on the same goal and colon with theory like this. Then, if you can show it like we have theory 1, 1, 3. Theory 1, 1, 3. Yeah, negative. And this is another negative 2. So, you say negative 2. You do it like this. You can show what are there. You have negative 1. Two, when you can't switch like this, then you have one and three. Then we have plus four. You can't show what are on the same goal and column two with four. On the same goal and column with four, we have three negative two and two and one. I'm sorry, and one and three. So when you can't show this, you have negative one, three, two and one. Now, you can now look for your determinant. Determinant equals to 3, then in bracket 3 times 3, 9, divisible minus 1 times 1, 1, minus times minus, plus 2, in bracket 3 times negative 1, negative 3, the minus here, 2 times 1, 2, bracket close, plus 4, bracket to 1 times minus 3, so 1 times minus 1, minus 1, the invisible minus, 2 times 3, 6. The determinant of A equals to, you now have 3, in bracket 9 minus 1, 8, plus 2, in bracket minus 3 minus 2, minus 5 bracket, plus 4 bracket, to minus 1 minus 6, minus 7. The determinant of A equals to, 3 times 8, 24, plus times minus, minus, 2 times 5, 10, plus times minus, minus, 4 times 7, 28. The determinant of A equals to 24 minus 10, that will give us 14. 14, that will give us, this will give us 14, 14 minus 28, that will give us minus 14, which I used to call negative 14. 24 minus 10 minus 14 minus 14 minus 28 minus 14. So that is the determinant of this question using three, this 3 by 3 matrix or third order determinant. So we go to example 5. Our example 5 will now be on inverse matrix. Now we move to inverse matrix. Having the proper knowledge of how to get determinant, you can now easily solve for the inverse. Now, when we say an inverse matrix, in inverse, this is the sign for inverse A raised to power negative 1. A raised to power negative 1. A raised to power negative 1 equals to what? 1 divided by the determinant of A. This is it. 1 divided by the determinant of A. So let us look at example on this inverse matrix. Find the inverse for A, e.g. 5. Find the inverse for A equals 3, negative 2, 1, and 4. Find the inverse for, find the inverse for A equals to 3, 1, negative 2, and 4. What do we do here? If we want to find the inverse, using the formula, we say a equals to, this is the formula, 1 divided by determinant of A. So, if it is 1 divided by determinant of A, we now say the inverse of A equals to 
1 divided by divided by the determinant of A. What is the determinant of this? The determinant of this will now give you 4 times 3. 4 times 3 minus 1 times negative 2. 1 times negative 2. This is it. So, which the inverse for A equals to 1 divided by 4 times 3, 12 minus, in bracket, 1 times negative 2, negative 2. So, the inverse, the inverse for A will not give you 1 divided by 12. Negative times negative will give you positive, then 2. The 2 we have here. Which the inverse equals to 1 all over 12 plus 2, 14. So our final answer is equals to 1 all over 14. That is our final answer. Let's pick another example on inverse matrix. The another example we'll be picking on inverse matrix is on 3 by 3 matrix or third order determinant. Choosing now, AGC says that find the inverse of find the inverse for for the given below matrix. Now we have 4, negative 2, 3, 1, 3, negative 1, negative 5, 1, 4. Now, if you want to solve for the inverse of this, A equals to this, we cannot say the inverse equals to 1 all over determinant of A. So, we should now give us 1 all over determinant of A equals to 1 divided by, we now want to solve for this, we now say 4, we can't show what our same word and column, we have 3, negative 1, 1, 4, minus 1, when we cancel it, we have negative 2, 3, 1, 4, plus, plus, times plus, this one will be minus 5, get negative 2, 3, 3, minus 1. You have to be very careful here in this negative 5. Remember that we have plus negative plus here. So that is the plus we have here. Then the negative 5 is for this negative T5 that is here. Then I say which equals to 1 divided by 4 in bracket. This times is 12 minus the minus at the middle here times this minus will give you positive 1 times 1, 1 minus 1 bracket. 4 times negative 2, negative 8. Minus three plus times minus minus five in bracket negative two times negative one that will give us two minus nine. Now we now have two minus nine, which equals to one divided by four in bracket twelve plus one thirteen minus one in bracket negative eight minus negative three negative 11 minus 5 in bracket, this minus is minus 7, which equals to 1 divided by 4 times 3, this is 12, carry 1, that would be 52 plus 11, because minus times minus, plus 1 times 11, 11, minus times minus here 2, plus 5 times 7, 35, which equals to 
1 divided by 52 plus 11, that will give you 63 plus 35, that will give you verse 98. So, which shows that we have 1 all over 98, that is your, our final answer. So we have won all over 98 as our final answer here. Thank you.